This is a video presentation from our Integrated Systems Lab at the University of Toronto of a paper at the International Symposium on Circuits and Systems in 2020. It describes an all-digital calibration algorithm for correcting static nonlinearities in analog circuits, which can be a significant performance limitation in front-end amplifiers and analog-to-digital converters. These new calibration methods can be thought of as a generalization of well-known radix calibration. They can correct any arbitrary static nonlinearities, which radix calibration can't. The methods are applied to measure data in the paper from two different prototype ADCs. And the presentation is given by an alumnus of our group, Paul Chen. So without further delay, here's Paul himself. Hello, everyone. This presentation is entitled All Digital Calibration Algorithms to Correct for Static Nonlinearities in ADC. My name is Paul, and I was a master's student at the University of Toronto under the supervision of Professor Chan Curzone. To give a brief outline of my presentation, I will begin with some background on all digital calibration techniques. Next, I will talk about two new proposed digital calibration techniques, the bit by bit calibration and hybrid calibration. These will first be applied to a MATLAB model, and afterwards, their effectiveness will be demonstrated on measurement data from two different ADC architectures. Finally, I will end with some conclusions. To give some motivation for this work, static nonlinearities caused by device mismatches can cause significant performance impairments in ADCs. For example, in flash ADCs, they arise due to random offsets in comparators and mismatches in the resistive ladder, while in SAR ADCs, they arise because of mismatches in the capacitive DAC. Fortunately, ADC nonlinearities can be corrected using all digital calibration techniques. Calibration can be performed in either the analog domain or digital domain. Analog calibration implies that the non-uniform quantization levels of an ADC are restored to uniformly spaced levels using circuit adjustments or tuning. Digital calibration implies that the nonlinearities are corrected by inverting the nonlinearity of the ADC using, for example, a lookup table. In digital calibration, the quantization levels remain non-uniform during operation and may result in varying degrees of quantization error depending on the input distribution applied. All digital calibration techniques can be desirable because they do not require additional analog circuitry. Here I showed some prior work, the radix calibration technique. Radix calibration is an example of an all-digital calibration technique that has been used in pipeline ADCs, and in SAR ADCs. This foreground calibration technique alters the ideal radix 2 weighting by applying an adaptive coefficient alpha i to each binary output of the ADC. These alpha coefficients can be found using a least mean square algorithm that minimizes the error between the ADC output and an ideal known reference. This reference can be a ramp signal, sinusoidal signal, or any other signal with the characteristics necessary to quantify the nonlinearities within the ADC. Although effective for correcting radix errors, radix calibration cannot correct other forms of static nonlinearity. Next, I will talk about the proposed digital calibration algorithms. A more generic approach is taken with the bit by bit calibration. Instead of adapting n alpha coefficients, one for each bit of the ADC in radix calibration, we adapt two to the n minus one beta coefficients, one for each thermometer-coded digital value. Effectively, this adaptively populates a lookup table for each possible digital output code of the ADC. Like radix calibration, bit by bit calibration uses the LMS algorithm with a known ideal reference to find these beta coefficients. Although not implemented, in principle, it is possible to use bit-by-bit -bit calibration in some background calibration method to determine the beta coefficients. To demonstrate the effectiveness of these calibration techniques, a 5-bit ADC is generated in MATLAB. This ADC has its quantization levels varied randomly with a Gaussian distribution having a standard deviation of 0.3 times a nominal LSB. 
the two figures show the convergence of weights during the LMS algor adaptation algorithm. Since the ADC is five bits, there are five alpha coefficients for radix calibration and 31 beta coefficients for bit by bit calibration. The alpha and beta coefficients all converge to values scattered around one because ideally they all should be one. Notice that the number of iterations required for convergence increases with bit by bit calibration compared to radix calibration. The converged weights are then used continuously during operation of the ADC to linearize it. Looking at the performance of the calibration techniques on this 5-bit ADC MATLAB model, raw data with no calibration is shown in red. Radix calibration, shown in blue, shows minimal improvement in SNDR and SFDR. Bit-by-bit -bit calibration, shown in black, has a bit more improvement in SNDR while providing a significant improvement in SFDR. Applying these calibration techniques to measurement data from an actual fabricated ADC can validate their effectiveness in practice. It is apparent that the bit-by-bit -bit calibration requires more computation and coefficient storage compared to radix calibration, especially as the resolution of an ADC increases. Therefore, a hybrid radix and bit-by-bit -bit calibration technique is proposed to reduce the total number of weights. For an n-bit ADC, the m LSBs are used for radix calibration, and n minus m MSBs are used for bit by bit calibration. m must be selected to be less than n. The number of calibration weights becomes 2 to the n minus m plus m minus 1, which provides a substantial reduction in both computational complexity, convergence time, and memory because the total number of weights is reduced. As long as the performance of the hybrid calibration is similar to bit by bit calibration, we can get these added benefits. This slide shows an example of how the total number of weights used in hybrid calibration varies for a 10 bit ADC. The plot on the right shows how the total number of weights will change depending on the M value selected. As shown, the leftmost point represents bit by bit calibration, while the rightmost point represents radix calibration. All the points in between represents hybrid calibration. The table on the left shows a more detailed breakdown of how the total number of weights is calculated for each value of m. Next, I will show the effectiveness of these digital calibration techniques on measurement data. The previously described calibration algorithms are applied to measurement data obtained from a 6-bit folding flash ADC, which was published in this citation. In the flash ADC, static nonlinearities can arise from mismatch in the reference generation, or specifically, the resistor ladder which is used for setting threshold levels. Here we can see how applying bit-by-bit -bit calibration, shown in black, further improves the SNDR and SFDR compared to radix calibration. Specifically, there is approximately a 10 dB improvement in SFDR after applying bit-by-bit -bit calibration compared to the raw measurement data. With the flash ADC architecture, random offset is a significant source of nonlinearity to which the bit-by-bit -bit calibration is well suited to correct for. A 10-bit SAR ADC prototype was fabricated in 65 nanometer CMOS technology. The schematics of the SAR ADC are shown here. Split capacitors have been used to reduce the area and capacitive load presented by the capacitive DAX. When multiple split capacitors are used, the sensitivity to parasitic capacitance increases. Static nonlinearities caused by mismatch in the capacitive DAC can be corrected for using the proposed digital calibration techniques. Here we can see how the INL changes after applying digital calibration. The hybrid calibration is shown in black instead of bit by bit calibration because the performance is almost identical. Prior to any calibration, the maximum and minimum INL values are around 40 to minus 40 LSBs. 
After applying radius calibration, which is shown in blue, these maximum and minimum INML values drop to approximately 13 to minus 16 LSPs. This improvement gained by radix calibration is because mismatch and parasitic capacitance caused by the capacitive DAC result mainly in radix errors. The hybrid calibration, shown in black, is also applied with an M equals to 4, which further improves the INL to around 3 to minus 2 LSBs. Thus, hybrid calibration outperforms radix calibration. Similar results are shown looking at the FFT after applying digital calibration. We can see that the hybrid calibration provides significantly more improvement in SNDR and SFDR compared to radix calibration. Although radix calibration corrected for some of the spurs and harmonics present in the 10-bit SAR ADC, the hybrid calibration did better and could eliminate most of the visible spurs. This slide shows a plot of how the SNDR and SFDR changes depending on the number of iterations conducted in the LMS calibration loop. The x-axis shows the number of iterations required for the LMS calibration loop, while the y-axis shows their performance. Larger number of iterations indicate longer calibration times required for the ADC. Radix calibration is shown in blue, the hybrid calibration is shown in red, and bit by bit calibration is shown in black. As shown, hybrid calibration can achieve SNDR and SFDR close to bit by bit calibration, while allowing for calibration times to be relatively the same as Radix calibration. This slide compares the effectiveness of Radix, hybrid, and bit by bit calibration in terms of performance and the number of weights. Radix calibration, which is the leftmost points, as, acts as a lower bound in terms of performance, while bit-by-bit -bit calibration, the rightmost points, is the upper bound. Hybrid calibration then exists in between these bounds. Using hybrid calibration, starting with an M value equal to 10 and then decreasing it, we can see how the performance of the ADC improves. At M equals to 4, here, the hybrid calibration's performance is close to bit by bit calibration, while the number of weights is close to radix calibration. Although bit by bit calibration provides slightly better performance compared to hybrid calibration, more than 15 times more weights are required. This reduced number of weights provides a reduction in coefficient storage and computational complexity for the digital calibration algorithm. In conclusion, two new all-digital calibration algorithms are proposed for ADCs compared with the pre-existing Radix calibration. Their performance was compared first using an ADC model in MATLAB and then using measurement data from two different ADC architectures. Improvements in the INL, SNDR, and SFDR were observed when applying the bit-by-bit -bit calibration and hybrid calibration compared to Radix calibration. The hybrid calibration significantly decreases the computational complexity, convergence time, and storage requirements compared to bit-by-bit -bit calibration while maintaining similar levels of performance. The authors would like to thank CAPIC Integration Incorporated for the discussions and support of this project. Thanks also to CMC Microsystems for fabrication support of the SAR ADC test chip. The references used in this paper are shown here. Thank you for your attention and I will be happy to answer any questions you might have.